This recording will show you how to solve a difference equation by using a Z-transform. We are given the difference equation x of k plus 2 plus 3 times x of k plus 1 plus 2 times x of k equal to 0. To solve this difference equation by Z-transform, you must take the Z-transform to each term. That means I need to take the Z-transform of x of k plus 2 plus 3 times the z transform of x of k plus 1 then plus 2 times the z transform of x of k and the right hand side when you take the z transform is 0 next what is the z transform of x of k plus 2 for this, we need to use the first shift theorem. According to first shift theorem, z of f of k plus 1 is equal to z squared times z transform of fk minus z squared times f of 0 minus z times f of 1. Therefore, z transform of x of k plus 2 is equal to z squared times the z transform of xk minus z square times x of 0 minus z times x of 1. So, apply this to our z transform earlier. We have z transform of xk plus 2 is equal to z square times the z transform of xk minus z square times x of zero minus z of x of one. This is what happens when we take the z transform of x of k plus 2. Next, we are going to look at what is the z transform of x of k plus 1. For this, we will look at the first shift theorem again. We know that z transform of f of k plus 1 is equal to z times z transform of f of k minus z times f of 0. Apply this to the sequence x of k plus 1, then you'll get this as z times the z transform of x k minus z times x of 0. Now applying the First shift theorem to the second term, we have 3 times the z times the z transform of xk minus z times x naught. Then the last term is 2 times the z transform of xk and the right hand side is 0 so I have the just transform the second term in here substituting the value of x naught equal to 0 and x1 equal to 1 then I'll get z square times the z transform of xk minus z from the first term plus 3z times the z transform of xk 
on the second term plus 2 times the z transform of xk from the third term. And the right hand side is equal to 0. We collect all the z transform of xk together. This will give us z square plus 3z plus 2 times the z transform of xk which is equal to z after I bring the z to the right hand side. So that means that I have z transform of xk is equal to z over z square plus 3z plus 2. Before we do the final value of xk, we know that I can factorize the denominator first. So z transform of xk is equal to z z plus 2 times z plus 1. And here is the trick we do very often before we try to find xk is we divide by z first. So z transform of xk divide by z. And this will give us 1 over z plus 2 times z plus 1. And now you do a partial fraction. You don't do partial fraction immediately. Divide by z first, and then you do partial fraction. This is a trick used very often, so that you can simplify our calculation. So that means z transform of x of k over z is equal to z plus 2 with a number a on top and z plus 1 with a number b on top. And what is a, what is b? You can use cover up to find a. So a by cover up is equal to 1 over z plus 2, z plus 1, cover up z plus 2, and you put z plus 2 equals 0. That means z equal to minus 2. So a is equal to 1 over minus 2 plus 1, and that is minus 1. You can also find B. B by cover up method. You cover up Z plus 1. And you put Z plus 1 equal to 0. That means Z equal to minus 1. So when you put Z equal to minus 1 inside, you get minus 1 plus 2 in the denominator. And B is equal to 1. So that means a is equal to minus 1 and b is equal to 1. And now what you do is multiply across by z now. I have z transform of x of k is equal to minus z over z plus 2 plus z over z plus 1. Now I'm ready to find out why xk now. I take the inverse z transform. So xk is equal to the minus the inverse z transform of z over z plus 2 
plus the inverse z transform of z over z plus 1. Now you recall inverse z transform of z over z minus a is a power k. So that means our xk is first term is a equal to minus 2, you have minus 2 power k. A second one, a equal to minus 1, I get minus 1 power k. So this will give you the closed form of the sequence xk, given the initial condition. This finishes the solution of this difference equation.